water spot, water spot. There's three, three whales. Uh, oh, five tw total, twelve o'clock. There's one. It's like twelve thirty by kayakers over there, and there's two more uh, at two o'clock. So would that be a pod of whales? Yeah, yeah. except. I, if, if they're humpbacks then they don't really travel in pods so that might just mean it's a good food area Sarah became whale expert <laughs> Pay attention during your life What to expect from uh, Antarctica? Expect uh, unexpected, you know. Um, don't set expectations because uh, weather is very unpredictable. Um, no cruise is like any other. Um, different places visited uh, depending on the weather. You, you may not have a single, um, you know, zodiac trip. Uh, but we were lucky. We were lucky. And what I mean by weather is um, unpredictable. Uh, look how sunny it is. And just just an hour ago, just an hour ago, everything were clear. And look behind me, storm clouds um, heading our way. So. We'll stay in the continent for a little bit and head out back on the ship. While uh, Vlad and Sarah are exploring a uh, prison museum nearby, I'm finalizing shopping here in Ushuaia. Um, we decided to reschedule our uh, flight to Buenos Aires to earlier time because um, apparently ship will this we will be disembarking around 8 to 9 a.m on 15th and it will give us enough time to catch 1 p.m uh, flight to Buenos Aires so very happy with that we'll have more time in Buenos Aires and we will likely hit Uruguay as well Okay, we are on the way to meeting point. Um, it's 3.30 and we have uh, Josh with us, who will be sharing um, the room with Vlad. We about to embark on the journey. Uh, we're taking the shuttle to to the port. Um, if we, I assume we're gonna be departing from sailing from the commercial port, so there's no access um, for pedestrians there. Second bus departing. We are for it. Send to different location. A 
I told you there will be snacks. <laughs> but but they didn't believe me. <laughs> How do you feel about that? So alright, so we checked in and I will show later the room. And the situation is Josh is no longer part of our group. We'll still have we still will hang out. With the stranger. Yep. You paid a lot of money for this. Welcome. Well, that's, that's part of the experience. Right? <laughs> 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 they were doing extra. <laughs> yeah. So, Vlad has new roommates, and new roommate is. Um, I mean, that's the thing, like every night they're gonna switch people around. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to meet everybody. <laughs> yeah, what, what if they push everyone's bed together and you have this little mix of different people each night? Welcome on board, awesome. everybody. Welcome. <laughs> is this really nice uh, viewing area and in good weather when things are calm this will be open for us to go through and so they go forward on deck five and then out on the port side and it has this really nice um, viewing area that's relatively penguins for anyone who feels are okay but it's all about the <laughs> Turn in left. 521, that's us. Alright, this is our room. And we're gonna fake it. Pretend we've never been here. We've only been here once, so I need to explain that to the camera. We did have yeah. to walk in to check to see if our bags were in here. And to check it. Yeah. General check. So we actually got upgraded. It's, it's the nicest room, one of the nicest rooms. This is owner's suite. We have a balcony, and looks like it might be. Sh no, it's it's us. It's a pretty big balcony. Um, there's coffee, uh, bottles. There's uh, some envelopes with our names. And I see that Sarah kind of like found it before. Uh, they have all the all the different outlets and even USB, USB 2, not USB C. And we have uh, champagne, a bottle of champagne yeah, with ice. Very lucky for that. Um, yeah. we, I don't see our, our uh, life jackets. Uh, we'll, we'll look for them. Well, look, yeah. they're supposed to be our, our bedroom with parkas. We need to try them on. Uh, TV, phone. Let's see what else. Uh, looks like there's thermostats to control temperature. It's pretty warm here right now. Oh, life jackets here. There's sign. Sign up there. Up there. Oh, yep. Okay. And what's inside? Okay, safe and um, doors. doors. Put her yeah. In here. Okay. All right, and honestly, one of the nicest hotels in general, like just hotels. Yeah, ever and a bathroom too. This is just amazing. I, I think it well worth it. Um, even though we spent quite a bit of money, amount of money, um, but <laughs> if you consider it's ten day, ten days cruise, um, it's not that bad. It's like five star. Uh, experience. This is so far been very five star, very much a five star experience. Yeah. We about to try out uh, life vests because there will be a practice. How do you call it? Mandatory drill. Mandatory drill um, before we depart, so everyone will be accounted for. Just shove it through your head, real. <laughs> you feel good. We're going to be using Lewis. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So that blue basically means nada. Wow. It's wow. like five knots. Oh, oh man. Wow. So, I, I think we're going to be good. I want, I want a prop. <laughs> yeah. Is it yours like or mine? Is it small? Oh. Medium because it says ladies. Because it says ladies? Or women. It says women. Okay. So. Okay. Let me try mine. Do you want to put this on just to see? Let me try okay. mine. Okay, and few more final notes. Um, so you get this key when you embark, 
um, it has uh, your room number, um, arrival, departure, uh, ship phone, and your evacuation station. Uh, a few other small notes. There is a uh, safe with a cool car key, a card key, hair dryer, a laundry bag, um, and that's pretty much it. We are about to depart. Um, set sail, I guess. Uh, outlets in every every room by the bed, and we are very excited and ready to go. That's a good one. We'll keep those. We'll keep both of them. But this one's cute because it's got the seal. It says, Welcome aboard, Sarah and Andre. Exciting times ahead. Let me know a good time to discuss plans for the big day. It's our wedding planner. Yeah, we, well, yeah. Which we didn't know we were getting. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, signed guest services. Cheers. Perfect. Cheers. seen on uh, for sale on eBay it didn't look that promising but this is good stuff like it's very very warm uh, very durable high quality like park alone is quite a amazing present um, as I was kind of just taking shower at the moment um, I realized um, that we have not only I realized that we have not only top but a shower as well and I guess like you know uh, it's just for me who grew up uh, poor this is like such a luxury um, but anyway like we very um, fortunate to um, get upgraded and the reason we uh, got upgraded we are uh, getting married uh, on the ship with Sarah and they did us such a uh, such a favor such a such a present for newly wed couple uh, this is this room is like it's awesome very spacious it's like size of pretty decent flat um anywhere anywhere in europe i guess in in america we uh, it's seven o'clock here um and we are having dinner at 7 30 so we'll go um join sarah and uh, vlad it's a uh, level seven uh see the views uh before the before the dinner cheers Something I wanted to uh, comment on is that I was afraid of whether or not I will be seasick, uh, but actually 
so far I feel great. I didn't take any medicine or didn't take any patches. Um, so I feel pretty good. Consider and look at the speed we're moving at. It's pretty fast. <laughs> Do you feel sick? Seasick? Yeah. Mm, you feel okay? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, hundred percent okay. But um, can actually go. Dinner's yeah. ready. You wanna get a good spot? Yeah, dinner's ready. I mean, we'll do the same thing, but just in the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty luxurious. Like, Aaron ready. And here's menu for today, tonight. A really big adventure. Yeah. Cheers. It's inside the ship, Sturgis. There's the elevator. And I'm going to floor four. That's the life map yeah, yeah. This one was where like we are. Hey, stranger. Okay. <laughs> I'm stalking you. Yeah, huh? Come on. I think here it's just like sitting area. Mm -hmm. no, In the bar. There was a, a spa back there, too. Oh. That's where. Auditorium is. Presentations and talks will be happening here. And piano. And looks like DJ set up over there. Seventh floor? Seven. Okay. Jim, it's at seventh floor. Polar Boutique open till um, five, I think. Maybe there's another one, but like, there's shopping, and then, yeah. Okay. Do you want to check out the gym? Yeah. I've tried to find the stairs. Stairs on the left side from us. Okay, there's even some sort of uh, beauty salon here. Lux. Okay, and on deck seven, there's sauna and spa. restroom on the right and gym Morning of March 7. Vlad was lucky talking to Steven. Oh, they come early, all of them are here, and they're, it's, it's their job to mingle and talk to the uh, Water is pretty calm, and uh, according to our friends we just talked to, this is 0.5 out of 10. And 
we're very lucky with weather. It's very calm. Water is so blue. Favorite subject, photography. Um, this is, uh, I haven't met everyone yet, so I don't know what the skill level is here, but this is a uh, basic talk about photography. It's about the, the theory of photography. It's about how I approach uh, images, and hopefully it is uh, targeted to everyone. It doesn't matter if you're using a phone or a much more expensive camera. It is intended to be uh, uh, about creating images and telling a story. Hey, welcome everybody, welcome. We've often found that our mandatory briefings are the ones that are attended the best. <laughs> So we have two parts to a, a mandatory briefing and are what we use to go to shore and what they are is they're rubber boats filled with air. They have five chambers. So if we happen to damage one or two of them, we still have no problem. We can get back to the ship safely. Okay. Good. Thank you. Hats, dogs. Mm -hmm. Those of you on deck six, port side, that is deck six, even numbered cabins, Please come to the main lounge on deck four with your outer gear to be checked and biosecured. So you will come to the lounge on, May, on deck four to have your gear checked, sign your declaration. Following that, you will go down to the mud room to try on your muck boots. So once again, those of you on... Okay, that's what Sarah and I just did. Um, we, we went through biosecurity all our outer layers and what we're bring, planning to bring on Zodiacs with us uh, had to be checked by the member of the uh, team. Evening expeditioners, welcome to our very first recap. Now these recaps and briefings that we hope to do every day will talk about some of the things we might have seen or experienced during the day. And some of those who uh, may be presenting in those areas, we'll talk more about that, whether it's whales or birds or history of rocks or other... South America, you probably remember being there. We're halfway between now at this point. And what happened about, <coughs> beginning about 40 million years ago, is a small plate, the Scotia plate. That. And that all-important um, Antarctic circumpolar current that goes around Antarctica. Did you know that this is the only place in the whole world where the ocean goes all the way around? There's no. no in your cabins and those kind of things, you might even have a little play with gadgets in and around the ship. I thought I'd just explain a few of these to make your life easier, more comfortable on board the ship. Um, so we do have our TVs in the, uh, in the cabins, and we have some channels, we've got some news channels, We've got some uh, um, fun kind of like films, and we've got some even only fools and horses if there's any Brits on board uh, the evening. And um, once we've decided what the plans are going to be, we have prospective plans for the next day. Um, we also have some newspapers. So if anybody's wondering what's going on with Prince Harry and Meghan, you'll be able to find out all the gossip on there. Um, so all the different newspapers here, um, and then also we have the uh, biographies. I know Vladimir is a man of many. Very few words yesterday in his instruction. If you'd like to read a little bit more about him and all of the staff, then it's on the staff biographies as well on the park portal. So how do we connect to the portal? Very easy. Antarctic Treaty at 60 degrees. And this evening, 
probably at around 9.15, 9.30, will be in Antarctic waters in every sense, in the biological and in the geopolitical sense. So we'll be able to celebrate this evening of being in Antarctica, which is uh, wonderful news. Of course, very, very calm seas. And um, personally, I hope that that continues for the duration of our voyage. Okay, we are heading to the bar, main bar area, main lodge, um, to greet the captain. Cocktails with Captain. But when I left Josh, he was sitting exactly on the same chair. Are you still still were sitting here? Yeah. yeah. I've never I've never left. Okay. I've cool. Never cool. Left. Yeah, because your name was yeah. yeah. There's a lot of fog. At some point when I was out there running, it was in the sun. Yeah, I know. It's, it's I I realize it too. Like okay, I also, so, so when you came back, all the fog rolled in. So he's the reason. A lot is very Ukrainian. Yeah. Socks are Ukrainian. Watch is Ukrainian. Tattoo is Ukrainian. T-shirt is Ukrainian. A lot made makes a fashion statement. Stuff all dressed up. White t-shirt instead of um, regular blue ones for the meeting uh, with Captain. We are crossing Drake Passage with exceptional good weather conditions. <laughs> During the night, the sea will increase half meter. This is about the forecast. Nothing. Uh, will be good, five, half meter only, and we are expecting two degrees, everything about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, mm. to be better the weather, if you Concerning our ship, she's an expedition ice class passenger vessel. She was built in 2019 in Portugal and complied with all actual regulations to operate in polar waters as a friendly, eco-friendly ship. Chiefs are chiefs, and the most important is the soul of the ship. Our vessel has a total amount of 110 dedicated crew members, all working and living in total harmony. They are from 28 different nationalities. Woo! It is uh, very difficult to bring together now 110 crew members here. Because of this, I will introduce you, with your permission, the head of the departments of the World Explorer. And I will start by the second in command, the staff captain from Ukraine, Alexander. Woo! Our chief's doctor, Aisa from Malaysia. In charge of all technical matters of the chief, the chief engineer from Ukraine, Vasily. Now the most important department, the hotel department. <laughs> the head of the department is the hotel manager, Igor, 50% Switzerland, 50% Spanish. <laughs> the richest person of Boa, the financial controller from Poland, Daniel. <laughs> Our chief housekeeper from Romania, Ovidio. in charge of uh, the restaurants and bars, our main Freddy from Tunisia, Mohammed. <laughs> and the person responsible for the extra kilos that you will get at the end of the cruise, our great executive chef from Egypt, Mohammed. <laughs> yeah, temperature difference. They mentioned during the talk that um, we expected to hit the fog. We already hit the fog before, and we are moving close. As we are moving closer to Antarctica, temperature is dropping. We left Ushuaia. Um, it was 
8 degrees Celsius and uh, 5 p.m. March uh, March 7, uh, which is two hours ago. It was 2 degrees Celsius, so we expect as we're moving in, temperature will continue to drop. All right, very busy day today. Cheers, my friend. Okay, so Vlad and I decided to wake up tomorrow, 5.30, uh, to maximize daylight. Uh, sunrise is about 5.30 to 6. Yeah. Like, because watching movies in a, in a room, we can, you know, do it at home anytime. So that's the plan. Meeting in the corridor at 5.35.